Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is uh, Thursday, March 20, or I'm sorry, March 20, uh, March 7th, excuse me. Uh, we got a couple of economic news releases scheduled for today. And the first item to note is the weekly jobless claims. As we mentioned, t this week will be uh, job heavy this week as we had the ADP yesterday, weekly jobless claims today. And then tomorrow we have the Bureau of Labor Statistics with their unemployment rate, the uh, new jobs being created and such. So we had 347,000 uh, people applying for last week. We uh, estimates were about 353, and they came at 340. So decent numbers right there. Uh, of course, Wall Street's liking that. The other item is uh, trade balance for the month of January. This is not really a huge market mover, but kind of gives us an idea of where we're at with things. So we had a, a imbalance, basically, of uh, $30.5 billion. In December, we figured that was going to increase, and it actually it surpassed the forecast. So we had a wider trade gap in 40, at $44.4 billion. And a lot of that, they're saying it's attributed to a big import of uh, oil coming over across. And of course, that could be a good thing. Uh, if we're importing more oil, that means they're doing a lot more productivity. So maybe more factories, more uh, construction as such. So that could be a good uh, sign that we're getting more oil over. Also, uh, another note, we had the productivity for the fourth quarter. So we had a negative 2%, uh, percent, which is obviously not good. We forecast it's going to improve a little bit to minus 0.6, and it came at 1.9. So obviously productivity is down, which is not a good sign. And then you have, on the other hand, uh, unit labor cost for the fourth quarter, which was at 4.5%. Forecast was going to continue at 45 and it jumped up to 46 So initially, the uh, you know Wall Street didn't like this, probably because this can be a little inflationary when the cost of uh, unit, uh, labor uh, goes up. They don't obviously care for that because, that, again, it could be inflationary numbers. But the weekly jobless claims kind of trumped it. And right now, as you'll see here in the headline news, the uh, stock market is currently up. And then also on other uh, news that were going to be important this week was uh, the European Central Bank and the Bank of England remained uh, unchanged. So they basically are staying the course of where they're at. So they didn't have any, they didn't drop any rates, uh, didn't hint of any dropping any rates. Uh, Draghi from uh, ECB was a uh, question about the Italian, uh, what's going on with the steady measures. He just kind of uh, kind of reasserted that they'll be contained, everything will be fine. It's kind of, he painted that type of scenario. Now we'll go to the bond market, see what interest rates are doing. Uh, as you can see, we're getting some steep uh, declines here. We had two days uh, in a row where we had uh, pretty good size opening gaps, and right now we're continuing the downward trend. So right now we're now down to about the 102.81 level. Uh, so obviously we've had a worsening in the interest rates. So over the last two days, we went from approximately 103.40 down to about 102.81, and it translates to almost a, a, at no point Loan is now about a half a point in cost. So that's kind of like the translation of what where we're looking at pricing-wise. All right, folks, uh, thanks for watching. But be prepared tomorrow will be a volatile day with the jobs numbers coming out. That will be the biggie. All right, thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.